it's me, Maria Dreams. Welcome back to my channel. This video is two, two pads, pads, one, one week makeup. makeup. So, if you want to see me create all of these beautiful looks with these stunning Edith House Play Color Eyes Mini Update Palettes, French Rose Teapot, and Peach Shell Tray, then keep on watching. So, let's see how this baby looks. It has four beautiful shades one shimmer shade one glitter shade and two mattes first of all let's swatch these the first shade of the french rose teapot palette is a beautiful light shimmer shade with a rosy pink undertone the second shade is a very elegant dark nude pink the third is a stunning super shiny glitter shade with gold glitter and rose gold undertone and the last one is this beautiful brown shade As for the Peach Shell Tray palette, the first shade is this absolutely gorgeous peachy shade, which seems like a matte, but it is a shimmer shade. The next one is a light peachy shade, which is great to use as a base. The third one is another gorgeous glitter shade, with a slightly peachy undertone and beautiful gold glitter. And last but definitely not least, is my favorite shade of all. This mud brown color is just absolutely stunning. Now let's start playing with these palettes. Here goes my first look. Hi guys, so this is day one of one week challenge. So today's plan is just having a quick lunch date. So I'm not gonna do anything too extra, but I do want to look pretty. So I'm going to go with the French Rose Teapot palette. As you can see, I already did my face. So I'm just gonna go quickly through all the products that I used. First of all, I used this Chica toner pad and this thing is seriously amazing. It makes my skin feel so clean and it doesn't have this chemically, you know, feel to it. A lot of these pads feel really chemically and I don't like the feeling, but this just feels clean. So I have high hopes on this. I'm using this only for a few days now, but so far I love it. For the primer, I use the Vanilla Co. Prime Primer Classic. I love primers that have this blurry feel to them, so I really like this one. As for foundation, I use the Giverny Foundation in the shade 21. So far, I really like it. For concealer, I'm using the Luna Long Lasting Tip Concealer. As for powder, I'm using this Innisfree Pore Blur Powder. Yeah, I kind of like stuff that blurs out my face. So this one is pretty interesting. I have been using only for two days, so I still need to get the hang of it. But so far, I like it. As for my eyebrows, this is what I use. It's just a drugstore product, but I really like it because it's not too dark. I still like my brows to be darker than my hair, but it's not too dark, so I like it. And to set everything, I'm always using Scintinavia Fixing Spray. This is the bridal one, and this is seriously my holy grail when it comes to makeup fixing, because it does the job and it stays on for a long, 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 long time. I really, really like this thing. So now let's move on to the eyes. So I'm going to go in with the French Rose Teapot palette and I'm going to use the Royal Pink for my base. And blend it all across my lid like so. I'm just going to blend it evenly across my lid. I'm going to take a smaller brush and blend it on the bottom as well. It's such a pretty rose petal tone. It really feels royal. Such a pretty shade. You guys, eyeshadow is all about blending. <laughs> and you always have to build up the color. If you start with too much, you will never be able to get rid of it. But if you start with a little bit and then build it up, it's always gonna look beautiful. Now I'm going to take the Dazzling Pink glitter with my finger and just press it onto my lid. That is always the best way to apply glitter because it really sticks on your lid and it's so easy to work with it. Then I take a small flat brush and just lightly do the edges for a more neat look i clean my brush a bit and i'm going to take lush rose gold and put that underneath my eye now i'm going to take this round brush and take the rosewood shade and just create a diagonal line from where my purple ends outwards or upwards rather I don't want to be too heavy. I'm going to take this brush and blend it out with the base color. Like so. Just repeat until you have an even blend. I don't want to add anything more because I like it just the way it is. And I feel like if I add anything, 
it's gonna get too dark and I don't want it to be too dark for today. As I said, I only have a quick lunch day today, so I don't want my makeup to be too heavy. So I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black. I really love gel eyeliners because they're so easy to work with. It comes with a pointy brush. I find them a lot easier to blend and get a smooth, sharp line than with a pencil liner. Never lose your patience with a wing eyeliner. You got this, okay? You got this. Just need some practice. And with an eyeliner, always follow your own eye instead of just looking at pictures of what other people do and trying to imitate it. Because if you follow the lines of your eye, it's always gonna be a much more flattering look than if you just try to do what someone else is doing. For my mascara, I'm going to be using my Kill Lash mascara. You can buy it at Olive Young. It was one of their top rated mascaras, if not the number one rated mascara from 2020. So this is the only reason why I bought it. So far, my favorite thing about it is that it is very light. It doesn't stick your eyelashes together. It really divides them really, really well. So if you like a natural look for your lashes, this is definitely the mascara that you should go for. So this is today's look all done for this eye. So I'm going to quickly finish the other eye off camera and be right back. So this is my day one look of this week. I really, really like how it turned out. I think it's not too heavy and it's not too simple either. I didn't put any fake lashes today so my lashes can rest. And I also didn't use any lipsticks. I just used a very natural lip balm from a Latvian brand. So yeah, I'm going to go and enjoy my lunch. Have a good day and see you tomorrow. the French Rose Teapot Palette. Today I wanted to go for a natural look, so I'm starting with applying the royal pink shade above my lash line and blending it out a bit. I apply the same shade underneath my eye as well. Then I darken out the lash line with the woody brown shade. off the look with the shimmer shade. At first I wanted to put it just in my inner corner but I loved it so much that I applied some more. Then I applied some mascara and here you have a beautiful natural look. I decided to add some natural looking lashes to make my eyes pop a bit more. And for the lips I'm going to be using the Ink Velvet in shade 1. Done. I combined the look with a checkered mini dress and a black leather jacket and went out for a walk. The weather was so warm and guess what? I found this tree already in full bloom. Spring is here you guys. For day 3 I used all the same shades but did a bit more heavier look darkening out my outer corners and adding a bright cherry star lipstick. It was a rainy day and I headed out to run some errands. My skin was breaking out so I decided to apply these Shika toner pads as a toner pad. They make my skin feel incredibly amazing. I feel like I'm spoiled and now I will have to get these pads for the rest of my life. Hi guys! So today I'm going to use the Etude House Peach Shell Tray Palette and do kind of a party look. I want to shoot a few TikToks today so I want my eyes be popping, you know. For today's look I want to do kind of like a halo eye. First I'm going to take this color for the base and just cover my whole lid. It's a very very light peachy shade. Next I'm going in with this shade to create more depth. So I'm just going to blend that out just below the base shade. It's a very beautiful peachy color with a little bit of a sparkle in it and it blends really well. As this is going to be a halo eye, I'm focusing on the inner and outer corners, leaving the middle empty because I don't need any color there. 
So now I'm taking the matte brown shade with this brown brush and I'm going to use this shade on the inner and outer corner. I'm gonna take it up to here but I'm going to focus and put more color in the corners. I'm going to blend it out with the peach pearl shade. I absolutely love this mud brown shade. It's stunning. So now I'm going to take this flat brush and take this coral garden glitter shade and just pack that in the center of my eye to create a shine. Okay, so do I want more glitter? That is the question. Yes, always yes to the glitter. <laughs> And I'm going to take a little bit more of that glitter and put it just under my eyebrow for a highlight. Okay, I'm gonna go and finish off my other eye and be right back. Now all that's left is eyeliner and lashes. For my eyeliner I'm gonna use the same black gel liner, but this time I'm not gonna do a wing because this look is very round. So I want to keep the round feel to it. And I'm back with some eyeliner and eyelashes for a more dramatic party look. And for the lips I'm going to be using the Etude House and Hershey's Kisses collection Choco Muse Tint in the shade Milk Chocolate. It smells so good. And I'm done! So this is the finished look. <laughs> Much better! I really really like today's look so I'm gonna go. I would love for you guys to come and follow my TikTok. So this is my TikTok address. It's also my dream. Same as my YouTube name. So see you there! days of shoots where I was not doing my makeup so to keep this week's challenge going I did two more looks one for each eye natural everyday look and a darker more creative look on the side So today is the last day of this kind of challenge. I absolutely love playing with these palettes. The shades are absolutely stunning. And for my last look, I'm wearing my favorite shade, which was the matte brown shade from Peach Shell Tray Palette. And I just used that across my whole lid and combined it with a dark liner and a dark lip. So my overall opinion about these two palettes, they're really really convenient because no matter where I went I could easily put it in my pocket and I didn't have to take much space in my purse. From the both palettes, the Peach Shell Tray palette is my absolute favorite, probably because of this shade because it is just so so gorgeous. And I also really really love this deep sea coral shade. It is a matte shade but it has a really really beautiful peachy glitter in it and I just thought it's so beautiful and overall both of these palettes blended great they stayed on for a really really long time so I really have nothing bad to say about these two palettes I loved all of my looks throughout this week and I hope you did too this video was a bit longer than usual so let me know if you like to actually see me do all of these looks or would you rather that I just put short clips of already finished looks please let me know in the comments because for me when I was a beginner at makeup what I would do before or ordering a palette or when I order new palette is just google the palette name and makeup looks and find the video with the most different you know kind of looks with the same palette and just watch it and see how many variations of the shades I can use on myself so that's why I made this video so please let me know if you like these type of videos so see you in my next video Yay!